My name is Nana Gottfressen and I'm a street lawyer in Copenhagen. We are at the open drug scene right now. It's just behind the main station in Copenhagen and we have had an open drug scene here for 30 years or 25 or 30 years. What we're doing here with uh, our bike is that we're sending out a legal team uh, providing users and homeless people and outdoor sex workers with uh, legal advices and legal assistance. Yeah, and the filter. Yeah. And the water. Water. And injection needle. Yeah. We have several kinds of needles mm -hmm. that we can that we can offer. If you don't use these, then we have uh, some bigger ones. And we also have a pump that is bigger. Yeah. Uh, but this is what you have in the ordinary sets here. And uh, to clean up, to alcohol set, uh, cleaner. And this is the JK card. Um, information. Yeah, say for injection. Mm -hmm. This is a question, and then you have the answer on the other side. There's no doubt that law enforcement cannot uh, uh, prevent people from using drugs. Uh, using drugs uh, has other reasons than uh, whether it's uh, criminalized or not. When the police is um, uh, targeting the open drug scenes, you can only make it worse for drug users. Uh, they are fighting so hard to stay alive and, and we can see that on a constantly high death, death uh, rate in Denmark. This is our office in the street lawyer. Drug users and homeless people and all of them are here with us. We can be like 30 or 40 people up here and so we would like some more space. Homeless people are having their clothes and uh, things and papers and like that in, in the office. We have uh, just a very small internet cafe. This is, uh, this is the map the police is using. Uh, we have 14 narco zones and if you, when you are banned, it is only drug users and homeless people who are banned from being in these zones it will cost about 100 euros every time you are in these areas. We have the main station here and uh, the church is here and here in an overlap of three no-go zones we have the needle exchange program so uh, what's the message you're sending? It is uh, do you want a fine or HIV? Uh, pick yourself Fixer one means uh, user room or injection room uh, and that's from Vancouver in 2004 and it still is like that and this is uh, uh, two huge garbage disposers in Copenhagen where users are injecting and using their drugs because we don't have injection rooms. Actually it's um, explaining the choice. What choice do we have? We, can, we cannot choose uh, that people are not using, we cannot choose a drug-free society, it's an illusion. But we can choose, do we want them to inject like this, with nurses and, and, and safety, and, or would we like this? That's our choice. We have had the discussion about injecting rooms as well for about 15 years in this country. The majority of our politicians still find that establishing uh, safer injecting facilities is uh, too controversial. It's, um, it's characterized by legalizing drugs. So people still have to use uh, around here on the open drug scene in our backyards and, at, and they are put at great risks of overdoses and infections and, um, and amputations because of that. 
I also speak in favor of um, what you could call it, um, yeah, rooms where you can, uh, injection rooms where you can go inside and uh, take your illegal drugs, get clean needles, and also get access to um, healthcare if you have uh, any, uh, any diseases or have been infected or have anything that you can get help in these places where you can also take your drugs uh, in a safe place. So we don't have people lying around, uh, for instance, taking an overdose um, outside in, in, in the cold weather or in, during winter. If, if you have a, a safe uh, in, injection facility, we hope from the, po the police and I think the citizens hope the same, that there will be a very clear reduction in uh, injection uh, pumps and, uh, and needles around this area. It's my... Um it's, it's my opinion that, um, that Denmark, as many other states or national states, is under a sort of pressure from, from the UN system or from, from uh, for example, the Americans and others, not to uh, engage too much in, for instance, uh, injection rooms uh, or prescription of heroin and, and such because they feel that it's undermining the international treaties on the area. Uh, the treaties were made in 1961 when the world looked a little different. So, uh, so I think sometimes the UN should actually, uh, system should be in favor of making sure that uh, human rights, as for instance, uh, securing that people can get access to healthcare also on a street level, uh, even if they're drug users or homeless or, lean or alike. And, this, and actually the UN in this question has been doing the, the opposite. It's, and it's been very unfortunate. We see a room with nurses, doctors, a uh, clean room. I think uh, it can be there in a few years. Punishment as a tool to prevent people from potentially harming themselves is absurd. So we need to start with uh, decriminalizing drug users, at least stop the war on drug users and invite them. They need to be socially included, they need acceptance, they need health care. Uh, that's the first thing to do.